One of the things I think that's key to a small business is finding guys that have a similar moral compass as myself, you know, and, and you know, and Varsity House would not be what it is without each and every one of them. Every one of them has played a real pivotal role in some way, shape, or other uh, in, in helping us get to where we're at now. And since you're here all day, every day, uh, with, with the same group of guys, uh, it, it's, it, you become like family. You know, anybody that's spent some time in, in a real gym know that the, the bonds forged in the gym with the steel, sweating, grinding it out, I mean, those are true friendships. I definitely consider everybody here um, a very close friend, and basically since I'm here, and we're all here together all the time, I definitely see them more than I do my own family, so I definitely consider them uh, my second family. I can call on them for anything. Um, you know, when, 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 when times are down, you know, everyone is, is there, ready, available to pick each other up. We're really like family here. I mean, you know, I spend more time with these guys than I do with my own family and friends. And, you know, to be honest, that's really what it's become. Always willing to help me and my family if we ever had any problems between football or, like, gave us good, like, wisdom to help us with on the field and off the field. Consider them family more than anything. Guys from different backgrounds, different walks of life can come together um, and just forge, you know, amazing relationships. Let's go family on three. One, two, three. Family. Good job. Oh, it's unbelievable. You know, like, these guys are family to me. Everyone here at Washington House, I consider them family, basically. I couldn't ask for a better relationship. I mean, I'm able to come in and talk to all of them as if they're, you know, they're my friends, because they are. I consider them my friends, as well as my trainers and my coaches. And I know that they'd do anything for me, and I'd do anything for them. So it's really good to have a relationship like that with the people that I work out with. All the guys here, the trainers, the staff, and the people that we bring in here, I think that's that's the one thing that we try as a crew to, to show to everybody is that, you know, is that positive, hey, you know, sports it, it is great, and but it can be a great outlet uh, and a positive outlet for your entire life. You know, that, that desire and that drive to be the best you can be doesn't go away. The game eventually gets taken away from you, but that desire and that urge to non-stop get better, get better, it, do, it doesn't die. So when these guys see that in me and, and the other coaches, it motivates them to get better. And I'm willing to do anything that it takes to get these guys better. Seeing the kids develop from young athletes through college and then beyond, you know, uh, now as an adult, as a 37 year old who's been doing this a long time, is one of the greatest things that I do in the entire business. Some of the kids, some of the athletes, you know, they're, they're, you, you spend so much time with them that they, they almost become like a, your extended family, like you know, all your little brothers and sisters, and uh, it's really great to see them, uh, uh, you know, working their butts off. I feel like my relationship with kids is, is, is to help them in any situation that I can, whether it's uh, about a personal situation, whether it's, it's about a lift or, or a, training, a training aspect, uh, whatever it may be, I feel like my relationship with the kids is almost like a, uh, an older brother, in a sense. Feels any better? Yes. All right. All right. They're like my little brothers. These guys are like my little brothers, you know, uh, an extended family, so to speak. I'll hear from these guys. It doesn't even need to be about sports. They're just texting me, calling me, emailing me, just letting me know how life's going. It really makes me feel good that you know I'm still a, a mentor in their lives and, and you know and helping them get better at, as as young people enter into the business world. They're my boys, you know. Uh, come in, you know. We don't even talk about lifting sometimes. Talk about school, talk about girls, all that kind of stuff. But they're like my friends. Uh, I talk to a lot of the trainers pretty frequently, especially when I'm away at school. I keep in contact with them. If I ever have a question, um, I won't hesitate to call and ask them. And they're always straightforward with me. You know, they're, they're the kind of people that you can you can talk to just about anything, not even about football or training or just, just life in general. The trainers now, it, it, it's, it's just awesome. I couldn't ask for any you know, better group of guys. I mean, not, not many brothers uh, have the relationship that, that Matt and myself do. Just in the gym, he just like he just wants, he just pushes me to my full potential and just wants me to be the best player I can be. So 
just all he ever knew. All he ever saw was my friends and, 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 and us playing football and getting better and grinding in the gym. And when I started training with Joe, Matt started training with Joe. It's always been a dream to play college football and I guess filling in his footsteps would be like a good goal of mine. He was able to see me play in college and uh, it was a really proud moment this year to see him play in his first college game as a true freshman and uh, I'm, I'm really proud of him. You know, everybody who comes here has goals, they're here to work hard, or else there's no reason to ever be here in the first place. The atmosphere and the intensity that, that overtakes this gym is, is unlike anything I've ever seen before. You know, if you can't get fired up and, and excited to come work out here, it's probably not in you. So. Being a serious athlete, being in Division I, you have to change your lifestyle. You can't be out partying all the time. They really make you appreciate chances that you have. I'm in school, I'm on a scholarship. I'm not out blowing it, just going to parties all the time. I'm, you know, taking care of my body, I'm eating right, I'm getting in the gym, stretching, rehabbing, all that kind of stuff. And they really make you understand how important that stuff is. Looking up to them and seeing how hard they worked, I was always pushed through the workouts. A lot of college guys here, a lot of D1 athletes, everybody, even some guys that were in the pros for, for a little while. You know, it's definitely competitive. Come on, man. Let's go, you want to be all ACC or what, bro? When I first started here in 8th, ninth grade, like, I didn't like to train, I didn't like to work out, but that's the only reason why I'm playing Division I football, because of RCI. Get this clean and with a lot of power, let's go. We execute and we get results, and, and that's helped develop a lot of great athletes. Wait up. You gotta take pride in these now, man. Everyone that works out here is a competitive player. They're here for the reason that they want to get better. And being in that kind of atmosphere really helps you Exceed because everyone's pushing each other to the best that they can, and it's always just a, it's always competition. Everyone just wants to win. We're doing 80 leg, 12 times on the floor. A lot of competitiveness because everybody wants to do better than the guy next to you, and you're at your rack with a bunch of guys that are very similar to you. So you want to be close weight, the reps. You know, the the main values that we try to preach here all the time is that uh, consistency and hard work can take you very far. Personally, as a player, I wasn't the most talented guy, but I, I was pretty sure that nobody was gonna outwork me to get to get me where I wanted to be. Down, butt down, back flat, chest up. Everyone's competitive, but it's a friendly competition. But when you when you go head to head, you know, it's 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 all go. You know, you wanna beat that next guy. You don't wanna be the guy that's like, oh man, I gotta go do my blur beats. I gotta go do my punishment condition. You know, so it's very competitive, but it's friendly, and that's the best part. Come on, let's go, buddy. I really look up to all the players and coaches here. It's, it's a hard work ethic here, but it's fun coming here. Let's go, five. Keep the right mindset and keep working hard and keep doing what you have to do. Everything pays off in the end. I'm more like into my workout. I'm more motivated to do stuff. I'm not as lazy anymore. I work harder when, when I work out. It's just all for a purpose, you know? You just want to... You want to just keep on fighting for your goals. The guys at Varsity has put me in the zone. They just really get in my head and make me work twice as hard as I would anywhere else. I want them to embrace this lifestyle. Hard work, teamwork, a lot of things that they'll be able to take with them all throughout their, throughout their lives. Consistency is the most important thing that you can have in any part of program, in any part of life. And that hard work not only leads to success on the field, Okay, but it should lead to success off the field as well. Just be positive about what you're doing. A positive attitude, hard work, and determination can take you very far in life. And uh, that's beyond sports. That's uh, with whatever you do. There's always that people out there going to be better than you. So you always have to, you always have to like put that same effort in in the weight room just as you do on the field. In order to be the best, you have to train the best. Yeah, baby. That's it, man. All right, all right. Yeah, man. Hey, just as everything else takes perseverance, so does custodial arts, and uh, I mean, <laughs> the more you do it, the better you get, I guess. Yeah. Rosini. Now you know everybody's just going insane. Probably the guy who's most is Tony Malone. If you don't know right now, you gonna learn today. Believe in nonsense. You know I'm gonna get.
tank top right now and I'm already hot, so you got mirrors, you know, all over the place. So what I'm doing my dumbbell cross is you know make a quick turn to the left, check it out. And yeah, you know what? That'll make my day right there.